And as you know, every Friday comes a flashback Friday. Now this, this week, this week, oh, this week was super tough. Super tough because I'm thinking to myself, you know, I, what am I going to showcase on Friday? Well, I don't know. I guess we'll have to think about that. And then it hit me and I thought, that's what I'll do. I'm going to showcase that. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, oh, I, wanna, oh, I, can, I can always do this. That's good too. Yeah. All right. You know, sorry. We're going to go with this one. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that one. <laughs> So, in the end, it was kind of like, I gotta, gotta decide, gotta decide, gotta decide, and I finally did. <laughs> I just decided I'm gonna take these ones, and I'll put them on the back burner for now, we'll come back to them later. Now, this week's showcase, by no means, by no means is this anything super spectacular, I know, it's probably a little bit of a letdown, however, for any younger viewers... This might go like, 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 I never even heard of this, which I would fully understand. <laughs> but for us older generations, this might bring you back a little bit. Now, before we get into it, I must say the manufacturer of this set has been long, long gone. For quite some time, but you can still find many of their releases still readily available, even unopened boxes. So, of course, you're probably getting the hint. You're like, ah, it's got to be 90s stuff. Ha! Hey, don't fool me, this joker. <laughs> well, of course, today we are hitting a set, not a very large set, by the manufacturer called Seventh Inning Sketch. I know. And when I first heard it too, I was like, what? Why, why, why are they using like, back then and back in the day, I'm like, why are they using a baseball team for a hockey card set? <laughs> of course, I didn't have that accent, but, <laughs> but it, it always confused me. Okay. Anyhow, anyhow, today we are showcasing the seventh inning sketch release of a set called the CHL Award Winners. Now, of course, as you know, I'm a fan of dark cards. So this one, when I first saw it, I was kind of like, I gotta have that. I want that. Now, it's not a big set by any means. It's only 30 cards. But it does showcase some pretty awesome players back in those years. And the year is 1991. So if you think back, you pretty much have an idea as to who is in this set. So every card, of course, had, you know, the um, the player's achievements on the back. So it kind of pretty much tells you the whole idea why they're even on the card or even in the set, which was always pretty cool to know. And uh, the set, you know, it showcased some pretty decent players, I would say. And those to highlight, I would say like Lindros. Actually, Lindros had several cards. I want to say th at least three. That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say at least three in the set. And, of course, Scott Niedemeyer. As we, we, well, come on. How do you not know Scott Niedemeyer? You got to know Scott Niedemeyer. Uh, Ray Whitney also was in there. Uh, Patrice Bergeron. Uh, not Bergeron. Brisebois. <laughs> getting, I'm getting lost here in the different eras here. But uh, Patrice Brisebois. And, and, and uh, a name that many, many, many still collect to this day. Felix Potvin. So it is a pretty cool set. I always, always liked it. Just, just for the whole thing of having a dark border and they're dark cards. I don't know why I keep doing this, but I am. So yeah, that's pretty much all I really have on this set. I don't have too much information um, regarding it, but I just, I do remember when I finally came across it and it was like, the whole thing is here. The whole thing is here. I'm totally scooping this. And I believe it was at the Toronto, uh, Toronto Sports Card Expo. And speaking of which, is happening this very weekend. Of course, unfortunately, I'm unable to attend. But I do plan to attend in the future. I just couldn't exactly tell you when. But another thing that I've, I wanted to mention in regards to this uh, Toronto Sports Card Expo is I've gotten a lot of feedback from a lot of other hobbyists, uh, even some vendors where 
they've often said that the, the fall expo is usually better than the spring. Um, and it often concentrates around, you know, series one usually comes around, uh, comes out about that time. And of course the season is just, you know, is just, uh, underway. So it kind of, kind of sets the tone a little bit, I think for the whole show. Ah, <sighs> so there we have it. That is my short and sweet flashback Friday. <laughs>